Here's another question from one of our viewers who wanted to know what the difference was between a crack and a check in a wood beam. And this will also apply to other lumber. Now the first thing I want to point out is that a crack is a general term and could refer to quite a few different things. So let's go ahead and change the word crack to the word split. And a split is something that goes all the way through the wood beam. And there are two different types of splits. One would be vertical and the other would be horizontal. And most of the time, a vertical crack isn't going to be as big of a problem as a horizontal crack. And the reason for that might be quite obvious for most of you who have bolted a beam together or made your own beam from 2x12s or 4x12s even, where you're probably not going to do the same thing with a situation like this. And the reason why you're not going to do this is because these materials can move or slide. As a downward force is applied on them, they will probably flex and eventually sag. So this design right here isn't going to be as strong as this one here. And that's why the horizontal cracks can be a problem. Now there is a general rule of thumb, even though I've never heard about it before, but if you have, let us know in the comment area. And that is that if the horizontal crack going in this direction here is longer than the height of the beam, then you could have a structural problem. And depending upon the length of the beam, for example, if I had a 20 foot beam that was a four by 12 with a 13 inch crack in it, then you're telling me that I would have a problem. I find that hard to believe. But again, I'm not a structural engineer. And depending upon what that beam is supporting, could depend on whether or not you have a major structural problem or not. Now another thing I need to point out is don't forget that some big checks that might not be going all the way through the beam could also create a structural problem. Whereas more than likely a small check, something that might be a sixteenth of an inch wide and a half inch deep on a 4 by 12 beam might not be an issue. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.